Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Samurai Warriors. I am your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 48. Now then. When last we left off, we com we completed, completed it? Da -da -da -da. I was going to somehow com combine completed and successful. And Mitsuhide is our lucky officer of the day. Anyways, uh, we completed the first two levels of Okuni's story. I'm going to switch her character model to that, because that's her secondary model. I switched back over to the English voice actor. Now, I did a little research. Uh, someone in the previous video wrote down a comment that Okuni has something like eight endings. This is, an, this is not true. She does not have eight endings. Slight spoilers, the way her ending works is you have to get all the way here to Izuchi Castle. You have to get to the very last room. And when you do, Keiji and Goimon are facing off and fighting. And you can only fight Keiji. Goimon's life bar is listed in blue. And her ending depends on whether Goimon lives or dies. Or I should say whether Ke he gets taken out or not. If KG manages to take him out, then you go towards the bad ending, which is not very hard. All you have to do is just stand there for 30 seconds. But if you can take out KG before Goimon gets knocked down, then you go to the good ending. So <clears throat> the decision really happens right at the freaking end of the entire game. <laughs> so... Basically, what I'm gonna do, since I don't see a point in replaying an entire level just to turn around and, I don't know. Now, replaying the whole mission just to try and make one decision at the very end doesn't seem like it's worth it. I mean, if I had to do multiple things throughout the level, then I would. So I think what I'm going to do is, today, today's Wednesday, today we will do the, the Dance of East, tomorrow the Dance of Kawanakajima, and then Friday we will do the Dance of Azuchi Castle and go for the bad ending, and then I will go, I will turn around and uh, go back to the, uh, this is what happens when I don't think things through before I speak. <laughs> I'll go for the bad ending, and then through the use of editing magic, go back to the boss fight between Keiji and Goemon and actually do it right, instead of showing you guys the entirety of Azuchi Castle, because nothing changes. But before we can do any of that, we have to get to the we have to get through the Dance of East first. So. <clears throat> Now, see, what makes this level challenging is that it's sort of like when Hanzo and, uh, oh my god, I can't remember his name. Hanzo and his master went through this before while being chased by Oda's forces. You had to pick your route. This time around, Goimon is the one picking the route, but you gotta stay close to him. You can't just take off on your own. So, first things first. Right, we're using the Botu Gasa, as we should be. Items. Uh, well, there's no point in taking a horse because... Well, there's no point in taking a horse. Because we can't take off away from him. And the shield wall will come in helpful in keeping him alive because... If you do end up taking off away from him, he'll get distraught, go crazy, and start going on a rampage. And if he dies... Yeah, we don't want that. Alright, and my lady ninjas are ready to go. So I've got to keep a very close, sharp eye on Goemon to make sure he doesn't, you know, do something stupid. Like he does 90% of the time. Oh, 
Yeah, so, uh, advance but stay close, so, basically, it's an escort mission. Why they didn't just say that, I don't know. Oh, that's right, because in an escort mission, you could take off away from the character at any point, and if you do, they'll be just be like, okay, I know what I gotta do, and they'll take off. But if you take off away from Goemon, he'll be like, oh, no! Yo, Goemon, damn! Alright, in his case, he decided to just take off. Goemon, okay. I guess he's just gonna take off and not give me the chance to fight and earn EXP and get stronger. Alright then, Mr. I'm the Hero. Make it harder, why don't you? <sighs> Come on, Goemon. So slow. And he's a ninja, if you can believe it. Oh, hi, Ranmaru. Didn't expect to see you here. Prepare yourself for confetti. I don't know. Oh, come on, Goemon! I can't fight him and keep up with you. You're gonna have to stop. Well, I guess I have no choice but to stick with Goemon, because he's an idiot. Yeah, I kind of wanted to take these people out and not chase you through the level. Anytime you feel like stop, where, where are you going? You know, I'm almost tempted to just say fuck it and let him go off on his own and then me do my thing. Yeah, I know. It's Goimon's fault. Halt, coward. Sorry, I'm used to it being where it says, you must escape, hurry! And then I have no choice but to fight everyone between here and Kingdom Come, instead of actually, you know, running. Oh, maybe now he'll actually stop. Nope. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say right now that Goemon just does not give a fuck. I can't do that either because Goemon's not stopping. You would get away so easily. I will guarantee your safety. Surrender now. Nope. What a kind soul. A lady can come to admire such compassion. A scholarly man at that. Need I say more? Ow. I thought he was right behind us. I was gonna knock him off his horse so he'd stop chasing us, but he turned around. What are you doing, Goemon? I know, because Goemon doesn't give a fuck. How meddlesome. Man, I'm block walking and I'm still moving faster than he is, and that says something. What, what, where are you going? This is fun. <sighs> Freaking going on. Oh, now what? Oh, good, it's Hanzo. <clears throat> We're gonna get to fight him? Of course not. The master has ordered your death. Such a dark, mysterious man. 
white and blurry. I love how you can only see those beautiful eyes of his. But are we gonna get to fight him? Hell no, cause Doimon doesn't give a fuck. Okay, seriously, if he makes it to the escape point and all is well, uh, I'm gonna turn around and go back and fight everybody. Cause I want some oh, EXP. Man. Hey man, I would have loved to have fought you. I really would have, but we couldn't because say it with me now, children. Goimon doesn't give a fuck. I'm probably going to have to switch over to that stronger weapon now just because I didn't get a chance to level up thanks to Goimon. Out of my way! Go! Leave this to me! Get out of here! But you didn't do anything, Goimon. Be sure. It was just getting interesting. Yeah, it was. Ranmaru, Mitsuhide, and Hanzo, and we just walked right past them like, nope. I didn't kill anyone. Not a single officer. Yeah, no wonder I don't play this particular mission. I don't like it at all. You guys even had time to grab snag a couple KOs, so that's good. Yeah, I got an A for time, because I had to keep up with going on. I mean, he could have at least stopped every once in a while. <clears throat> oh, I do have that. That's good. I don't like those abilities that double your defense, attack, or whatever near death, because it's just basically like a power-up. You know, like whenever you grab the, um... Katanas that double your power for 30 seconds, it's like that, and it just randomly happens. It's not reliable. You know, given that, I'm strongly tempted to go on ahead and do the Battle of Kawanakajima next. You know, just because of the shortness of this one. But, I said I would save it, and save it I will. Tomorrow the battles will be much longer and much better, and I'll even switch over to a more powerful weapon. Apologies for this disappointing video, and you can blame Goemon for that one. Until next time, folks.